not leave the house. What's Jared saying? Yeah. I'll probably get to bed around 2 a.m. Then probably just got to get up at six to drive five hours to go home for the ha the holidays. The holidays. Nice. That sounds awesome, though. Is go everyone ahead. back in Chillicothe? Is that where you're going? Or are you going down to uh, Ava? Ava's not five hours, so I'm going to assume it's Chillicothe. Must be Chillicothe. Why do we know that? The home of sliced bread. The home of sliced bread. <laughs> we know these it's things. It's true. Because Jared's been on our show. Yep. Chili coffee. Chili coffee? Actually, 45 minutes north of there where mom lives now. Well, that sounds awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's so weird that it's five hours to get there. It feels like it's less. And you're still in Missouri. Right. That's crazy. It's not a very big state, but it's still. Jared, have you been to Marceline? We're thinking of going to Marceline. It's not exactly on the way to uh, Chillicothe, but it's up that it's up, it's up there. Didn't know if you ever swung in to the old hometown of Walt Disney. Childhood. Home. Four hours exactly to Chili Coffee, and he says yes many times. Oh, he's been to, he's been there many times. That's cool. Nice. I want to go. I haven't got to go yet. Yeah, home of Walt Disney. That's right. That's right, Julie. You'd even have to ask the uh, the research department for that. You all. Oh, that. she missed the opportunity to post <laughs> as the audio roast. Uh, Shh, don't tell everybody. Oh, I guess we outed her last week, didn't we? Same road I take to Chillicothe when I get off 65. Gotcha. Oh, cool. So you basically drive right by it. Cool. We got to go, man. I want to go to Marceline so bad. I want to go like, I know the real Dreaming Tree has fallen. It's right. fallen but, and down on the ground now. But there's a baby Dreaming Tree but now. They took a they took a thingy off of that tree. A sprout? A sprig? And they planted another one. Have you heard that the one they planted that came from... The original dreaming tree is also planted in soil that came from Disney World. What? Yeah, they hauled it up to Marceline and planted the dreaming tree in soil from Disney World. That's cool. So Julia says, I gave the research department night off. Caitlin says, sometimes you don't need to look things up. Sometimes we just know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. We care about our audio roast research department. Gave him the holidays off. <laughs> Jared says he hates to be that guy, but it's sort of underwhelming. I understand what you're saying, yeah. but I I am on my third Walt Disney biography, and uh, I've I, you're kind of a fan. For me, going to Marceline woo, would woo. be. It would be I don't awesome. actually care if it, I know it's over, underwhelming. I've seen a thousand videos and photos and there's not much to that town at all, but I just like the, I just want to be a part of the energy. We need to take a Taniel trip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm missing this. What is what? What? He just said, it's definitely cool to see if you're a big buff Yeah. for an ordinary person. It just seems like an ordinary house with a little placard. Yeah. What's yeah. Yeah. What's Christy saying? You think Disney really did cryogenic his body? I, I I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't think so. But I actually went to Kansas City. Julia Drake Cobb probably already knows all this, but I've also seen the um, Walt Disney fun things to see in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Probably have already talked about it on the show, but yes. the studio where he actually got started, um, we've been to that studio. It's just an abandoned Some of building. you probably remember the story that I, I forced my son to Force your steal son. a couple bricks from <laughs> Walt Disney Studio in Kansas City. Because he could fit through. The and then um, we also <laughs> went to his his house, the house he lived in, uh, and actually saw the shed out back where he, when he went bankrupt, he started doing animations all by himself, literally by himself, <laughs> inside a little shed that was uh, in the backyard of this house. And we got we went up and saw all that stuff. It was <clears> pretty <throat> ghetto. Forced. Pretty ghetto. Yeah, it, it's 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 got like somebody else's drawn Disney characters on the outside of this old. old it's building. rough. It's like, empty. You can look in there, and there's nothing. There's a I dirt was, floor. I was a little afraid sad. to get out of the car. It's pretty sad. Yeah, yeah, Julia just said the studio's in a dodgy part of town. I know that's what I'm saying. It was. I was actually scared to get out of the car, but yeah. I had to. I had. Well, to. we were in town for 21 Pilots. And I was riding with Kenzie and Cindy Ballou, and you were riding with um, Elvis and his girlfriend at the time. Yeah. And we both went to the studio, and it was, they were even parking their car. Like Cindy, Cindy was parking her car, like, um, uh, 
Um, and I just jumped right out. I mean, I've, you and I have been on the road. We, <laughs> we've been in dodgy places, but, um, then, then the, the, the fence could peel back just a little bit <clears throat> and Elvis just squeezed right through there. Yeah. And we stole a couple bricks that had fallen uh, out of some of the upper windows. We borrowed story them. windows. We borrowed them. Julia actually hasn't been there. Yes. I finally Woo! beat Julia to something. Tune in live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central. On the Unsung Screamers Facebook page, YouTube channel, and Twitter. And check out our Unsung Screamers podcast. Wherever you get your podcasts. Ah!